Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to do a quick phone review of the HTC Tattoo. Okay, if you're not there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and then search for our phone review of the HTC Tattoo. Okay, since this phone does run on Android, uh, we have a quick Android overview and version differences comparison. Uh, if you click on the little Androids right there, or the link right beneath it, it's basically going to show you uh, how Android works for the most part, and also the differences between the different versions, 1.5, 1.6, 2.0, etc. Um, we also have pictures of the tattoo and some specifications listed underneath the video as well. Okay, now we'll talk about the hardware a little bit. We have a 2.8 inch resistive touchscreen with uh, 240 by 320 pixel resolution. Uh, we have your four standard Android buttons. We have home, menu, back, and search. But in addition to that, we also have a send key and an end key, which also doubles as the on and off and the locking of the screen. Then we have a circular D-pad here in the center for selecting items on screen um, with a big select button directly in the center. On top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so it'll fit your standard headphones. On the side here, we have a volume rocker. On the bottom, we have a mini USB, so any mini USB charger or USB cable will fit into that. On the back, we have a 3.15 megapixel camera without a flash. Uh, I personally think all camera phones should have a flash, uh, at least some type of flash, because low light pictures just don't work at all without one. Um, so you're basically going to be taking pictures either in broad daylight uh, or in pretty well lit areas. The camera is also capable of recording CIF resolution video, which is 352 by 288 pixels. The battery is an 1100 milliamp battery. When you remove the battery, you have your SIM card slot, and up here on the side, without the need to remove the battery, is a hot swappable micro SD. Okay, on the inside of the device, we have a 528 MHz Qualcomm MSM7225 processor. We have 256 megabytes of RAM, and then we also have your standards, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and GPS. Since the tattoo is an Android device, um, you can scroll down right beneath this video on our website for a quick Android overview and a version differences comparison. Just click on the Android sitting right there, um, and you'll get a quick overview of how messaging works, the market, etc., um, because this is pretty much the same throughout any Android device. Okay, what separates different Android handsets, uh, since they share the same OS, the market for downloading apps, etc., uh, is their hardware and some of the custom software that the manufacturers put on. Okay, some of the hardware benefits that HTC has for the tattoo are, one, the fact that it isn't the top of the line hardware, uh, smaller resistive screen, a lesser megapixel camera, etc. It makes the tattoo a much more affordable device than other Android handsets. So for the person on a budget that wants an Android phone, the tattoo is a good option. Another benefit of the hardware is even though the processor may not be the quickest on the market, um, because of the smaller screen size, it doesn't necessarily need to work as hard to load images, graphics, etc. Uh, that other phones might. So, in other words, less pixels means faster processing. Uh, because of this, it moves considerably quickly. So scrolling and opening programs isn't too bad. Some manufacturers uh, also add in their own custom software in the form of widgets, custom user interfaces, or apps. Um, HTC has their own custom user interface called HTC Sense that they put on a lot of their Android as well as their Windows mobile devices. Some of the differences between HTC Sense and regular Android uh, is the fact that you have seven home screens instead of the normal three or five. The app drawer button has been replaced uh, by a shortcut to the phone, a app drawer button on the left, and an add to home screen button on the right. They replaced the phone app with its own app uh, that also has smart dialing, so you can start typing in someone's name, and it'll automatically find them in your contacts. There's also a new contact app, it's called People. 
and it has a little scrolling action along the bottom here uh, to get to your favorite people. Well, first all your contacts, then your favorite people, then groups, uh, then updates uh, for syncing your contacts with your Facebook contacts. It also downloads their statuses and their pictures as well. Um, and then lastly, call history. Okay, clicking on a contact uh, brings you to their contact info with the same scrolling action along the bottom. Uh, you can contact, contact them quickly by clicking on either the phone uh, to call them, the text message symbol to text them, and the email to email them, etc. Uh, sliding over gives you all of the messages that you guys have ever had back and forth. Same thing goes for email, but email back and forth. Next is their Facebook status. So if you link them to a Facebook account, uh, it'll display all of their status updates and their uh, birthday, their events, etc. Signing over again brings you to their photo album. So either if they have a Flickr account that you've linked them to or a Facebook account that you've linked them to, uh, you can view all of their Facebook photos or their Flickr photos right here. Uh, and finally, their call history just with that person. The browser has been updated uh, with its own little custom UI that makes the top thing go away. In order to get it back, you have to hit menu. A uh, little bit different UI, the way it looks. Uh, the windows are actually scrollable this way. They have a little reflection uh, graphic down there at the bottom. So just a bunch of just little, uh, you know, aesthetic changes here. Pretty much the same thing as the regular Android uh, browser besides those. HTC adds their own mail program uh, that also has exchange support. Um, and looks a little bit different than, and is a little more robust than the regular uh, email app for Android. They do also still have the Gmail app, and that's identical to Android as well. An app that HTC adds is the Clock app. Uh, this app has the same sliding action that you're going to find throughout the entire UI, um, but it has a world clock where you can set up different cities. If you scroll along the bottom there, you also have alarms that you can set up, a stopwatch, and finally a timer. AC also includes their own Twitter app called Peep. Um, once you set up your Twitter account, it allows you to use that uh, to see your tweets, uh, your uh, mentions, etc. AC also adds a weather app. Uh, this weather app is HTC's own design. Uh, it actually lets you set up as many cities, I think it's up to 10 cities. Uh, you can set up whichever cities you want. And as you scroll through here though, it has its own little 3D graphics that are kind of cool, depending on the weather in different areas. Okay, now for Sense UI's widgets. First one is bookmarks. Uh, this is basically a widget that goes on your home screen that is a scrollable list of the thumbnails of your bookmarks that you have set up. You can also add bookmarks from here as well. Another HTC widget is Calendar. You can either have it as a 30-day view that's scrollable to go you know, from January to February through the months, etc. Or you can have it as a uh, little thing to notify you of your upcoming events. Tapping on the calendar symbol brings you directly to the calendar. Another sense widget is the clock. So we have this clock here, which actually also displays the weather as well as the date. Um, but you can get rid of that by doing that. And click on clock, and you'll see that they actually have a, a variety of different designs for clocks. That you can go through. There's a widget and an app called Footprints. Uh, you can just have a large or a small widget. And basically, it's a photo album app with geolocation uh, that you can take pictures of the places you've been, write notes about them, and then have them all saved in your phone. Uh, HC also has a mail app. Um, just like with the Footprints app, you can flick through them to get through your different mail instead of images. Um, you can also tap on the pencil to compose or tap on the lines to get to your mail program. HC also has a similar app to the mail app for messaging as well. Again, same thing uh, applies. You can flick through this to flick through your messages. 
tap on the pencil to compose one, and tap on the lines to get to your messaging program. There's also a music app. Uh, you can either have a large one or a small one. It'll display the album art for any music that you have on the device. You can also click left and right to scroll through them and play to actually start playing the music right now. Here we have the people widget. Uh, this is actually a scrollable list of your favorite people. Uh, whoever you have start as favorite in your contacts program, it'll also display their image. Um, and if they're synced with Facebook, it'll display their Facebook image. Uh, clicking add would add a new contact or a new favorite. Uh, clicking on the lines brings you to your people program. Here we also have the photo album widget, um, which works just like the footprints one. Uh, it's a flickable widget uh, for your photos. It'll scroll through them, uh, just whatever photos you happen to have on the device. Photo frame um, is similar to the, the photo album one, except it's not flickable. It just displays one image. So you can basically just put an image anywhere on your desktop so you can just take a look at it whenever you're scrolling around. Search is basically the same thing as the Android search widget, uh, except that it's black. There's also settings widgets. Uh, you can click on settings and then choose from any of the settings widgets. Uh, there's airplane mode, Bluetooth, GPS, mobile network, and Wi-Fi. And basically what they do is they are little widgets that you can put around, and by tapping on them, you can turn on or off either Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc. They also have a Twitter widget, uh, which connects to your PEEP program. And it'll display the latest tweets uh, and also give you a little spot to type your own status in there. Uh, or you can just do one that just has the status and a little bit bigger of a text box. Along with HTC's weather program, they have a weather widget. It does pretty much exactly the same thing, except this one can be placed on your home screen. So you can flick through stuff. And even when flicking through, it'll still do the little graphics that it does in the weather program. Okay, and that's it for our HTC tattoo quick review. Uh, if you're curious about like how the market works, how messaging works, etc., as with any of our Android phones, there's a link to our Android overview and our uh, Android version differences uh, compilations over there right beneath the video itself. So just click on that and you can head over there uh, to see that type of stuff. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it.